Data Merge is a brilliant time saver feature in InDesign that allows you to automate and batch create variations on a layout. In this video, I will show you how to quickly generate multiple business cards with the names and details of each of the employees using a text file and an Illustrator artwork. If you want to see how I created the design, you can find a link in the description below. As always, if you like the way I explain things and you want to learn more from me, make sure to check out our training platform where you can access over 200 hours of premium courses on tools like InDesign. Use the link in the description below to start your membership now with a 3-day free trial. For those of you who are following our videos, you probably recall this design. We will be taking this to the next level and we will actually generate all the different versions for the employees working at this company. So let's say the mockup that we designed last time or we created using the Smart Mockups website was convincing enough for the client and they love it and they would like to have it all generated and ready for print. Let's say they have around six, seven employees and we need to send them all those versions with the job descriptions, the phone and email address and all that jazz. Now, this is a fictional company, obviously, and I came up with the names as well, or I didn't actually came up with the names. Some of you might know these people from somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so why am I in Illustrator and why did I start the whole project in Illustrator if I already knew that I am going to work in InDesign? Because it's much easier to do the design itself in Illustrator, while InDesign is great at doing the preparation or the PDF creation thanks to its feature called Data Merge. And that's what I'm going to show you how it works. It's very simple. All you have to do is to first of all place in the artwork into an InDesign document. Now you can do this by exporting an, an Illustrator file or an EPS file and then just place it into InDesign. I even locked it so I don't accidentally move it around. And if I press W, we can see this is how it looks without all the outlines. So it has the trim marks already placed there thanks to the effect we used in Illustrator. And notice that I removed the copy. So I don't have anything here apart from the logo on the left, but on the right, we just have a text frame ready for the copy. So the employee's name and all the rest of the information. But notice that I also have a panel here on the right called Data Merge. Now, if you don't know where to look for this, this is actually in the window menu, Utilities, Data Merge. So these are the probably a little bit more obscure, more advanced features that not many of you are familiar if you are already using InDesign but haven't done these type of things before. So it's actually a very simple feature using Data Merge. Now, what you need for it, first of all, is a text file, an actual text document. And I'm going to show you this here on my screen as well. So this is the text file. And this is actually something you can export from an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet. And all you have to pay attention to is that the first row or first line has to have the names or the descriptions of each of these entries. So we start with the name, then comma, then comes the next entry, which is the job title and so on and so forth. You can even use data merge to include images. In those cases, you have to use the at sign. So you would have to type in at and then the name of the file. So let's say it's something like .jpg and you would have the file name here, or I can just type in file name. This way, whatever file name you define will be imported into your InDesign document using the data merge. But let's not complicate things, so I'm just going to delete this and we will just rely on the text at this moment. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four, six people, so six employees. And as I said, some of you might be familiar with these names. So we will be importing this, but the way we have to do that is by coming back to the InDesign document and go to the Data Merge panel menu and choose Select the Data Source. So once you click on that, you select the text file. It's important it has to be a, a standard text file, so it cannot be a rich uh, text format. So not an RTF, it has to be TXT file, or I think CSV also works if you are exporting from Excel or Google Docs. And once you click on Open, it's going to list all these entries here on the right. So we have the name, job title, email address, phone number. Now I'm going to drag and drop these into my 
text frame and I'm just going to zoom a little bit closer so you can see it better. So there's the name and this is like a variable. So based on the information that we have in the text file, it will be able to replace this placeholder. So I'm going to press enter, then drag and drop job title, press enter again. So dividing the lines, email address, and then the phone number at the end. Now, I also can select these placeholders and format them. And the best thing to do is to use paragraph styles for these. So I already have a style that I define for the details. And then for the name, I have a different style. There you go. Again, it's based on the styles that I established in Illustrator. I just used the Creative Cloud library and then I saved the formatting as a paragraph style in Illustrator and I just brought it in here in InDesign. So you don't have to recreate anything. Most of the things you can just uh, save into libraries. So now that we have all of this in place, we can actually go back into the data merge panel and click on the preview. And this is such a cool feature. So once you click on the preview, notice that it replaces already uh, these placeholders relying on the first line in my text document. So Sadie Adler was the first one here and all of the information comes in nicely divided and formatted the way I set up the document. So not only that, but I can also use these arrows to go through it and I can spot already some issues. I can see that some of the names are too long, so they won't fit. So in this case, what I'm going to do is to resize things a bit. First of all, I need to make sure that I don't go too far here because the trim mark would chop it off. So I'm just going to put a guide in here so I can see exactly where the edge of this card is. And I definitely don't want to get close to that. So I'm going to keep my frame a little bit further away, something like that. Of course, we could even have a more defined grid if we wanted to. But for now, I think that serves a purpose. So I know exactly how much space I have. So instead, what I'm going to do is to move things a little bit around. First of all, this logo should go a little bit further to the left as well. Now, because I have this placed in, it's an EPS file and I have placed it into InDesign, there is a shortcut. If you Option or Alt double click, on the placed vector artwork, it will open up in Illustrator and you can do the changes there. So I can move the logo maybe slightly to the left, save this document. And then when I switch back to InDesign, it's going to already update itself. So we can see that it moved to the left. So we can also move this to align with it. But then I'm also going to change my paragraph style that I used on the name by reducing the size here we can get probably something like that is still going to work nicely. I think that's fine. Maybe we can also reduce the details size now because it just feels a little bit too big. So I can reduce that to 12 points. All right, so now let's have a look. So I still have the preview option on. I can just go to the next name, Arthur Morgan. We have Dutch who has a quite long name. So let's just see if this fits in, if I move this a little bit further. Okay, I think we can get away with that. So his name is going to fit and then we can check all the other ones and they are actually fine. So now I can see that all of the names are working. It's time to actually turn this into a PDF. So I'm going to save this document and that's important. So I'm just going to save it. Actually, we have to turn off the preview, then save it and then use this little icon here on the top, the one's called Create Merged Document. So once you click on that, it will give you a couple of options. First of all, how many of the records you want to include. So we can say we only want a single record, maybe we want the third one, or maybe we want all of them, which is six in this case. So uh, we can choose all records for that, or a range we can type in, let's say two to four and six, so you can do uh, even commas and then do it like that, just like when you export pages from InDesign. And you can also decide how many records do you want on a page. So you can even have multiple rec records on the same page. But in this case, I'm just going to stick to single record. There's obviously a lot of other options here, but I don't want to go into too much detail. Let's just see what happens if we click OK. InDesign is going to tell us that there was no issue, so there's no overset text create when these pages were created. 
but when I click OK, you will see here on the right side, we now have a new document with six pages. So I can flick through these pages and I can see the final results. So everything is nicely imported. If I zoom out, we can also see here's the six pages uh, one after the other. Now, the best thing about data merge is that obviously I can now save this out as a PDF and it can go straight to the printer and they will be able to generate all of these ready for my client. But if there is a new employee joining or let's say another 100 employees joining, all I need is an updated version of that text file and I can even just go back to the original file where we already have it all imported and just go to the drop down and choose update data source. So let's just try this out. If I go back to the text file and we put someone else in here, let's do Hosea Matthews, I think his name was, and let's make him an advisor. So now if I save the text file and I come back here, I can even turn on the preview, go all the way to the end. You can see that the last one is actually not him, but once I go to the drop down and choose update data source, now, if I go all the way to the end, there's actually now seven records and we can see the name that we just added. So it's very easy and quick to then generate new business cards for new employees joining the company. And that's really in a nutshell how to use the data merge feature. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you haven't seen the other part when we designed these cards in Illustrator, then you can find the link in the description below and you can go and check it out now. Let us know in the comment section what would you like us to cover next time on this series. Click on the link in the description or the join button to become a member if you want to work on future projects with us and see the whole design or illustration process live. Thanks a lot for watching, like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.